So you guys don't massage people? We massage, but that's like such a small part of oh, what you actually okay. do. Hello everyone, welcome back to Med Chats with Becoming Dr. Andy. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in in one of our episodes once again. And if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe because I know you will definitely learn a lot. On today's episode, we are having Hisham, who is a third year physiotherapy student at University of Cape Town. And he's going to be sharing more about his career and his journey through physiotherapy. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I know that a lot of students, especially high school students who want to study physiotherapy, will benefit so much from this chat. So if you were to explain to a high school student who doesn't know what physiotherapy is, how can you describe it? So physiotherapy is something many, like I think all patients, like end up needing. Mm -hmm. It's um, basically returning you to function, maintaining your function. Um, it's basically as though, as though you go to a doctor, you heal, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, because you're not yourself again, we mm -hmm. get you back to yourself. Okay, yeah. It's that pathway. It's, it's a long road for some people. Some, for some it may be short, but it's something you do need in order to get back to being yourself and be able to do what you could do prior to whatever you were seeing the doctor for. So what I would like to know, and probably a lot of people are curious out there, why did you choose physiotherapy? What is it about physiotherapy that you really liked? So I've always wanted to do something in the health field. Mm -hmm. I've always had a, like a need to help people yes. in whatever way I can. And I knew medicine wasn't really for me. Mm -hmm. um, and physiotherapy was when I saw what it, like people doing it, yeah. it, it did stand out for me seeing how you can help people in other ways other than being a doctor, for example. Mm. So it made me feel good and made me feel like, okay, there's something I can do in the health field still and I'm helping people. So it was really like, that's where it stood out for me. That's really great. So I just want to know why is medicine not for you specifically? I think the, the, stress about it uh, yeah also like the blood yeah. all of those stuff not me I can't, no i totally I can't understand do like, <laughs> because like you know when you are like a health sciences student everyone would think everyone's dream is actually to study medicine yeah. oh but it's not true you know there are other people who literally don't desire to study medicine because i mean it's a lot of work blood yeah. as you've said yeah. not everyone is a fan of that not everyone is like interested in studying yeah. medicine and it's so interesting that you were able to like pinpoint exactly what you wanted to study yeah. and, and you, you were able to tell that okay this is not for me but then this is for me and i think also it's just like important for people to like be exposed to the career before they even go in there as yeah. you've said that you have like observed like physiotherapies work into that field and then you kind of like or say oh okay this is what i actually want to do so like i just want to know like you know when you're in high school and you're dreaming about this career you always have like this um idea about it yeah i want to know what kind of ideas you had about physiotherapy and what are those ideas that when you got here and you realize that actually this is not what i was thinking so i think the biggest misconception people have about the deal which mm -hmm. i had as well I think many people in yeah. my family back home, yeah. a lot of people I know still have that same misconception that physiotherapy mm. is synonymous with massage. And that oh. is not the case. <laughs> so you guys don't massage people? We massage, but that's like such a small part of oh, what we actually okay. do. So it's like, that is, I think, because I had the same misconception and I was like, oh, so physiotherapy is like, I'm going to be doing a lot of massage. Oh, but yeah. I haven't up until now in my third year massage the patient because I like I learned it but I didn't actually use oh, it so, as a treatment. So, so you guys get massage classes, like how to massage so we, people? We had a two week block where they like it was a lecture series and they taught us all about it and we like, had a practical session. Oh, but after That's that I haven't done it. 
Oh, so you haven't gotten to a yeah. point where you like actually massage your patient. Oh, okay, that's yeah. actually interesting. Is there anything else maybe that, let's say you thought about physiotherapy and you actually experienced it, like it is exactly the way you wanted it to be? Yeah, so in a way I'm work doing a general hospital block now mm-hmm. and um, I'm working in a hospital where physiotherapists, they um, work as doctors, like yeah. in the ICU, we like all the wires, all the pipes, everything, mm-hmm. we know what it does, we can detach it, it's like we do all of those stuff yeah. and I was like, okay, so this is even closer to like to medicine, medicine than, you than, thought, yeah. than I thought and like I'm a physiotherapist, so I was like, no, this is where I want yeah, to be. This is where you belong. Yeah. Oh, okay. What are the best parts of being a physiotherapist student? So I think the fact that um, it's such a close, intimate, physical degree mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. you get so close to your like to yeah, people, to your like patients, so. and also like to the people in your class, because okay. at the end of the day, they're the ones you practice mm-hmm. on. So like my group of friends that I like practice on, I've become so close to them because we so up in each other's oh, place, yes. like spaces that. Um, it makes it so much more fun, mm-hmm. like you can't, like you, you need them, like I need them to pass, that's literally how it is. Okay, so you develop like a close relationship with your classmates basically. Definitely. I've actually heard that your class is very much small compared to um, MBCHB classes, like how, how big is your class? 48 people. 48, <laughs> yo. <laughs> We're very tiny, our class is tiny. Yo, okay, but then I think that that is good in some way yeah. as you said that you build like intimate relationships with your classmates and i think also clinical exposure academic exposure yeah. is much more like it's a better experience compared to a big class definitely i can name everyone in my class and yeah like, whoever i get placed on clinical block with i'll be fine with i could never I'm do that i could never do that my class is more than 200 people <laughs> so i could never name everyone <laughs> but like i just want to know what exactly like do you study in physiotherapy? I mean, you mentioned that you had a blog where you massage people and stuff, but like, what more do you actually study? Like, what are your core courses in physiotherapy? So for the first two years, anatomy is a big part of mm. it. I mean, we do anatomy of the whole body, yeah. physiology of the whole body. We need to know everything. If you're going to tell any physiotherapy student, origin, insertion, They'll, they'll just know they'll, they'll like look at you with like side eye, like, oh my goodness. Um, and then in the first year, it's literally like basic physiotherapy, the basics you need to know. Mm. And second year is when it goes more deeper in. So you'll have like a lecture series about the hip and everything about the hip. Yeah. A lecture series about the knee, everything about the knee, how, mm-hmm. to, how to treat it, how to assess it, everything. So that's when you go in more depth and you see more of the stuff and then we have our blocks, pediatrics, um, general hospital, NMS, mm-hmm. geriatrics, you go, um, you can do sports blocks, you can, there's many okay. um, yeah. branches of and like stuff you can study. From third year, we go on different blocks mm-hmm. where you get exposure to the different type of physiotherapy assessments and treatments get done in different Design. types of, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So um, there's a pediatric block where you get to deal with a lot of the disabled kids like cerebral palsy, mm. um, autism, um, uh, developmental delays. You mm. deal with a lot of that and you treat it, you assess it. So that's more like as a physiotherapy, what you can do for pediatric kids. Um, and overall, there's also like obviously chest um, assessments, chest treatments you can do on there. Okay. Then you also go on uh, a geriatric block where you see the older people, where you go to the old age homes, you see um, how they are, like normally they are fine, like it's just maybe keeping them active, doing exercise classes and then okay. checking like if they fall risks and oh, like just yeah. mentioning that, walking um, aids and, walking all, aids and all of those stuff, teaching all of those. You also go on a community health block where you go into a community health clinic and it's basically like um, for in physiotherapy terms, it's an NMS block. It's mm-hmm. neuromuscular skeletal. It's um, where you do. Um, the patients come in for the day. They have an injury. You assess it. You figure out. You diagnose the problem and mm-hmm. you treat it. So that's like a quick day clinic in and out the patient. And then you get a gen- general hospital block. That's where your patients are there. Obviously from it's like pre-op, then the uh, op, okay. post-op, and you seeing them throughout. Yeah. Um, there's ICU in there. There's 
just gender wards, mm -hmm. the surgical wards. So you deal with all of that. It's mostly like chest patients, um, orthopedic patients, uh, neuro patients, you mm -hmm. deal with all of those. And then also UCT gives us an opportunity to deal with, um, to become part of the sports, like to get exposed to the sports physio by having us from third year volunteer as um, physios for the rugby team. And oh, that's cool. So we get to go and uh, do practice with them, do warm ups with them, cool down. Okay. If they have problems on field, we run on, mm. like how you see in, yo, on TV, yo, we run on the field, do the physio, tell them yeah. no off, no carry on, mm -hmm. whatever. So that's also something UCT does allow us to do, which is very, very fun. Yeah, Just, it yeah. sounds very interesting. Yeah. I mean, especially with, uh, when it comes to someone who's interested in sports. Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah. definitely. And are you interested in any kind of sports? Like, so I, as like myself? Or yeah, as, like, as you. Like, yeah, so what do you, do you like physio in for, if that's a term? So I'm doing the rugby team now and yeah. I'm enjoying it. I think because um, rugby is such a contact sport mm -hmm. that the... Um, injuries are more likely to happen. Yes, you'll definitely. see all kinds of interesting things. Oh yeah, so you, you also like learn a lot from that yes, experience definitely. as well. So I think that's um, the team I like. Oh okay, oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. So what is like one of the best things or one of the best moments you've had so far? So I think um, I so when I came into. UCT, I came in 2021, which was a COVID year. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know anyone, didn't know much. Our classes were all online. Yeah. And then as I got to like second year and now I'm in third year, just meeting so many people, meeting across the um, the health faculty, yes. like different faculty, okay. different students, that has been the best part for me because um, in a way, I don't know if you've heard about which our Instagram page, UCT Physio, yes. which many people know about now. I think where, I found you there. I yeah, think I found you where there. we made people yeah. more aware of physiotherapy. So yes. that's been the best for me is making people aware of physiotherapy across the health science faculty. Of course, this is what you're doing now, yeah. actually, <laughs> yeah. across the country. Yeah. In the world. Who's never knows? Or what have your challenges been as a physiotherapy student so far? So I think. Um, for the first and second year, it was definitely the workload. Mm -hmm. um, it was just so much. Um, it was difficult. It was a lot. Yeah. There was. It was like I all of each other. You know, anatomy and physiology and all and of that. And clinical science. Yes. It was. It was, um, it was a lot to be. I think when we as third years are seeing the second years now and we like no we Yo, feel you yeah shame but now it's become more of a time management problem mm -hmm. where i'm so exhausted there's no time like you the whole like working the whole day and you come home and you still have to do like yes. work there's deadlines to meet there's so much assignment so this year time management has definitely been my biggest challenge and i'm trying to overcome that too. Yeah, I can understand. I mean, you go to hospital and see patients like almost yeah. every day and then you have to come back and consolidate that information and then prepare for exams and assignments. Oh, it must be very, very tiring. So briefly, like if you were to share to like a first year or a second year student, how did you get through the content? Like what are your like pro study tips on how you were able to, you know, get through yeah. first year and second year? So I think for me, what helped the most was making a group with, I have a group with four of my friends. Mm, okay. um, and we, it's lit, we lit, our group's name is literally called Note Takers because <laughs> we share the notes, we make notes and we share them amongst ourselves. So this yeah. week it's my turn, I make the notes, share, send it to them. Next week might be mm -hmm. someone else's turn. And that just lessens the work for you so that the notes are getting done. You can just consolidate it for that week, which makes it so much better. and. Also, like every day you have to work, that's the problem. Yeah, they keep you accountable as well, your yeah. friends. And also like, even when it's not your turn, it's just, you have to come home, do some work, you can't just relax yes. because it's going to catch up with it's you gonna later. Gonna, it's going to at the end of the day. Okay? Yeah. No, that's actually so interesting. Yeah, I don't think like a lot of people, you know, think of study groups, especially in med school. I feel like everyone is just so competitive. Yeah, it is. But you know, when you work with people, you actually realize that it is so much better and you get a lot more yes, work definitely. done. Just like briefly, I just want to know what are your 
future plans. Is there any field that you are interested in that you would like to work in or kind of like specialize in after you graduate? So I would love, as I'm now doing my gender and hospital blog, I'm like I'm seeing how much I love it. So mm. I definitely want to work in a hospital. Yeah. Um, for quite a while after I study, um, I do want to study further. Um, okay. hopefully get some more uh, degrees mm -hmm. down my name mm -hmm. and then maybe eventually I do want to get into sports. Oh, okay. so you I like get, that part. Yeah, okay. so I do want to do sports physiotherapy so that oh. is what I would one day maybe want to work there. So what advice would you like to give to someone who's currently in high school right now who would like to study physiotherapy? So I would definitely say that it's a field for someone who loves um, people, who loves mm. being um, close to people because you're going to be very up close and personal mm. with people. You need to be able to do that. You need to um, be able to give up that time uh, for other people because you don't have time much for yourself yeah, yeah. when studying. But it's something that's very rewarding, something that makes you feel good at the end of the day, that you helped someone get back to what they could do when they thought yeah. they couldn't do it. So I think just consider it definitely, um, especially if you're looking for something in the medical field and medicine's not for you, physiotherapy definitely comes a close second to that. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that brilliant advice and thank you so much for having a chat with me. I know a lot of people actually learned and got inspired by your journey. Thank you for having me and I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm just putting it out there that for any more information, UCT Physios 24 is our yeah. Instagram page. Okay, you can I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can follow the page and actually get more inspiration and more information about physiotherapy. So we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have learned a lot from this chat please share this episode with friends or classmates who would like to study physiotherapy and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel and if you are a health sciences student or a healthcare professional and you would like to have a chat with me right here please write me an email on becoming at gmail.com and we'll make it happen i'll see you again on another episode Till next time, bye!